I lived in my childhood, I lived in the north of Germany. And of course, after the war, it was a very special situation. And uh, if I think about my family, my mother was quite a creative person. My father was a little bit more functional. So I believe I got from both, uh, both sides. I started actually, um, actually my working life to study in a school. I studied uh, fabrics. I became a specialized person for fabrics, like a sort of textile engineer. And afterwards, I went for two years to the States, to Los Angeles. And from there, I decided to become a fashion editor. So um, I decided to do freelance design, and I started to, do, to work for other people. And then I became uh, actually the, my own fashion label. I thought I can do much better if I could do everything I wanted to do by myself. So I actually started 1974 designing my own collection. I'm working in Hamburg. I have uh, the whole organization is in Hamburg, also my studio. But um, I'm traveling a lot. I'm a lot in Italy. So actually my life is working in Hamburg in the studio and traveling around the world and especially let's say Europe, or the cities in Europe, and United States, and also the Far East places. Actually, you know, when you start, you start quite small, and there are so many things you have to learn. And of course, you never really know what will be hap happening uh, in the future. So for me, I, you know, I had a very strong vision and I had a very strong idea what I wanted to do with all the background and knowledge I had uh, before on the side, working as a journalist, working always loving fashion. So I believe there was a very strong message and I think I kept this message and this vision all my, let's say, all the, his, all the part, um, all the long time I'm now working inside. I think the fashion I, I'm always after is really a mix of um, trying to really design pieces who have a really a certain class so you can really uh, give to a person also like a posture. And on the other side, I love very much to, to really think also in fashion very future or forward without being futuristic. I really love the pure elements of fashion and I really love also the way to express in the collection how you can really express the time where we are in today. I believe uh, the quality and the luxury is really to leave everything you can leave off. That means, for example, for fashion, I'm able to use the most interesting fabrics. I'm able to work very artistically in cuttings. And I can work with proportions. And fashion is always such an interesting way to think and to, uh, to be creative. So I think the essential of luxury is really the quality. I think um, uh, Italy, uh, and especially Milano as a, a city to show fashion, I believe I have a very strong relationship to Italy because I'm producing in Italy, I'm, I buy a lot of fabrics in Italy, so I almost feel like half Italian. So the decision to show uh, in Italy was quite clear. I, you know, I beside, I mean, I do the collection beside, I do bags and uh, shoes. 
Actually, I don't believe so much in, let's say, fake jewelry. So our accessories, very essential, are the shoes and the bags. And now I started also to do a collection for opticians with Alan Meekley. I must say I'm very happy with, the, this, with this sort of marriage because he's also a lover of doing his work in a very special way. So this is our uh, licenses on the, on the part, bags and glasses are licenses. And I also do, since 17 years, uh, perfumes and cosmetics. But I believe, uh, let's say, the real background of a Sagittarius is actually to be always interested. You know, a Sagittarius always moves, always thinks there's something you can do better. And so I'm quite happy to be a Sagittarius. If I could uh, change something in fashion today, I think this is very difficult because uh, one side there's so many different tastes, so many different visions. But if I could um, uh, change something, I think there should be really a, more, a much more um, training for the people who are working in fashion and uh, maybe also from the service section that people understand more and more refinement and really good style. Let's say if you buy today something, you really should uh, have something which is, uh, let's say, fitting to our time that you understand that fashion today is not only something outside, you know, it's something you have to give for yourself.